Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to activate your free sync on your Nvidia card. So first of all, uh, you need to make sure that your monitor is compatible with FreeSync. So this is very important. You need to own an Nvidia GPU, the uh, 1000 series or the 2001. If you have less than that, uh, it will not work. Make sure that you're using Windows 10. Also, make sure that you're using a DisplayPort 1.2 or 1.4. It's not compatible with HDMI right now. And make sure that you install the latest uh, driver uh, for your NVIDIA card. So first of all, the first step that you need to do, I can show you right now because it's on your screen. Make sure that you activate the free sync on your monitor. Me, I'm using right now a ViewSonic XG2401. Uh, I have no issue with it, honestly, with the G-Sync, so that's pretty cool. And after that, you will see that you uh, will have some kind of like NVIDIA logo in the screen that you want to activate. After that, click on Setup G-Sync. And after that, it's pretty easy. You need to check this one, Enable G-Sync. Enable it. Me, I'm just using for full screen mode, but also you can uh, enable it for window and full screen mode. Select the screen that you want to activate the G-Sync. And at the end, Enable setting for the Select Display Model. Click here and it will work. Uh, how to know if it's working or not. You have two things that you can use. First of all, in the display here, you can click here, G-Sync compatible indicator. When you will uh, open a game or whatever, something in full screen, you will see the G-Sync uh, logo at the, the left. And also you can download another um, software that the NVIDIA developed called Pend Pendulum Demo. This is a demo that you can open. We can do it right now uh, to make sure that your G-Sync work. So as you can see, I have no issue. And also you can look at the G-Sync on here. This is the thing that was I was talking about um, before in the video. And the G-Sync here is check. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, if you have issue with your whatever, your screen. Um, I heard like a couple of Asus one, you can't use it at 144 Hz. You need to use it at 120. So those kind of stuff, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.